today we have a washing machine that has some issues is you can see that the handle has broken half off this little plastic part and so I'm gonna be taking this apart and I'll see if I can use some super glue or some poly to repair this I know you can buy replacements online for 40 bucks but it's only this little plastic piece the circuitry is okay so, um, to remove it it's looking like we have some screws around the perimeter of the inside of the door and they're like port screws so Michael you want to do that you can go around this little project here and then we'll remove all the screws around the outside and then I believe that this top part can come off. Ready, Teddy, Lefty, Lucy. I'm just gonna get a cup to put all the screws in so we don't lose anything. Okay, go to the next one, right here. Have a top? Yeah, just do one side of the at a time. Okay, go do the next one. Yeah. If you get it out. That's good. Okay, go on the other side. Do halfway that way, then I can do the half, the half. Okay, good. So this way. Is it here? Yeah. So we'll just put it up slowly. Slowly. Oh, 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 oh! They broke it. They broke it. What in the world is that? What? It's like a bed. It's like a bed. It's like a bed. Okay. Oh, this is all the dirty stuff. Can you? Oh. Piece. Yeah, grab that piece. We'll see if we can repair the actual pieces. That's broken. Okay. Can you hold this up? With your hand, put, put down the screw. <sighs> Here's the door latching mechanism. So hmm. it's broken. Is it? The circuitry is okay. This costs like 40 bucks to replace that because it has these two relay switches on either side right so 
but it's just the plastic part right here that we need to fix. So why buy the whole mechanism when it's just only this plastic part that needs to be repaired? Let's go. Let's go get some glue glue together. You have that other piece. behind there. Oh, can you get it? Don't push it in. What? Oh, no. What do you do? Push it in. What? It wouldn't be a flat one. You just hold this. some super glue for their initial joining so it looks like it goes on like this some epoxy just in there it has these little cavities that will be good for the epoxy to get it all in so I have this clear epoxy and I'm just going to use these grooves and I'll fill out the whole layer because Plastic over time gets brittle and it's getting older, so we don't want it to break again. So I have this five minute epoxy that you, um, there we go, that you can mix up. We'll just mix this uh, clear epoxy up. I've also put a little bit of JB Weld in here as well. 
and that's gonna fill up all the little pockets. could have made this thing thicker plastic but they tend to do that it's just as strong with these kind of like rivets put some in here for this part Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.